In this series of videos, we are going to establish secure MTLS connectivity between two containerized applications in separate Kubernetes clusters using Spire Federation. If you are new to Spire, you might want to check this introductory article and its accompanying video first. Also, if you want to learn more about MTLS or any other tool or technology used in this video, you can check out the resources and further reading section on this video's webpage. That part taken care of, let me show you what we are planning to implement at a high level. In our setup, we'll have two virtual machines in two separate networks. The first one is what I call VM3, which is on 172.16.1.0 slash 24 subnet. And the other one is VM4, that is on the subnet 192.168.78.0-24. And these two machines can ping each other. That is to say, there is a network connectivity and a network route between them. And to isolate things a bit further, we have two clusters, one in each of these virtual machines. Cluster 003 is a Kubernetes cluster that resides in VM3. And similarly, cluster 004 is a Kubernetes cluster that lives inside virtual machine VM4. And we want to deploy a simple greeting server application in cluster 3 and an associated greeting client application in cluster 4 and let the client and server securely talk to each other over MTLS. To establish an MTLS connection, these applications will exchange their X509 digital certificates and the X509 digital certs that those apps have will be distributed and validated by Spire so that the workload greeter client in cluster 4 will verify the validity and the authenticity of the workload greeter server in cluster 3 and vice versa, and they will establish secure communication between each other. And here is what we are going to do at a high level. First, we'll create a client and a server application and let them talk to each other insecurely without any transport layer security. Then we'll package and deploy these applications onto a single cluster inside containers, inside pods, and ensure that they can still communicate insecurely between each other. Then we'll install Spire to both of the Kubernetes clusters to help us establish the building blocks of our federated secure communication. Then we'll establish a pod-to-pod -pod secure MTLS communication inside a single cluster to start with. And after that, we'll move one of the applications, which is the client application, from one cluster to the other. So each cluster will have a single application in itself. And we'll re-establish MTLS secure communication between the greeter client and the greeter server application pods that are now living on two different clusters by federating these two Spire servers on each cluster. So that's the overall plan. If that sounds fun to you, join me in the next video.